you go. The next race we're doing is one for the blood one. Um, I've got here a rock point hook. I love using the rock points because they're light and sharp. But any size hook basically depends on the size of your worm. This one I've got a fiber um, rock point on. And then I like to use a 0 0.70 trace line. And then just a little indicator for you to take some attention. Now on your worm, oh, this one just goes straight to, to your three race four worm. Um, on your worm, you'll see that's the head part, and that goes into the tail. On the on the top of the tail, you can see the color changes. It goes white. Now you'll see the worm will fall or break apart. Now these little pieces, and you basically can't put that on the hook. It just literally break apart. So what we I like to do is I just start from the back. You put the hook in, and you just work it down into into the red part. Into that red part. And then I would put, pull the hook out all the way and basically just turn it around the worm twice. Looks a bit messy in the beginning, but when you tighten it up, it goes, goes correct. Then I would do another one, pull it through, pull the hook all the way out. Same story, twice around. And then you would put your hook in on the set point. And then from the back, you just gently work the line through. Don't let the line cut into the worm, because you made these rings now. And that's it. So, just like that, no cotton needed, nothing. The line's twisted around the worm, so it won't come off. The tail on the cast just break off. And Basically, that's it. The line's wrapped around the worm, so you don't need cotton or anything, and you can just throw it like that, and it, the hook won't move because the worm sits on the on the trace like that. It looks nice and proud. It's always fun when the worm lay, lies on the sand. This Denny sucks it up here. We must be proud. Nika, see.